All right. Well, we got the trailer all opened up here. Now that there's not a car in here, you can see how well all the new paint turned out. New paint, new winch, toolboxes, everything. Got a spare tire in here. I need to move that. Got our ramps laid out. What could we possibly be picking up? I don't know. What could we possibly be getting? I hear it. Just don't see it yet. There she is. 2018 wide body Hellcat. Love the green. Love that green. Now we get to stuff this in the trailer. Well, there she is. Not very much clearance. I had my blanket laid out over there. Because I thought I was going to jump in it. But, let me show you what I did. Instead, I just use the winch so I could watch it the whole time just brought it up in here but you can see there ain't much room to spare so we're getting fuel here at TA and what is this London at London Ohio Loudon London something like that let me tell you about this situation earlier that I don't really know how to feel about it but so the Tesla that I dropped off was a car for Vroom. Vroom's like Carvana where you just buy online and they deliver it to you. Or you pick it up from like a kiosk or whatever. So I noticed when I got the dispatch, it was through Montway, that it was a uh, different con different style gate pass for Mannheim. And it, was in v it, and it had said Vroom on it in the lot. So... Vroom doesn't stick their Mannheim stickers on the window. They just lay them on the dash. And I, um, so anyways, I pick it up and I'm like, well, this is either like a transfer for Vroom or this is going directly to a customer's house. So I look at the dispatch and it's going directly to the customer's house. I'm just going to pull up out of the way here. Sorry about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get it. You know, there's nobody behind me tell you you're considerate Ooh, that's different I'll show you this truck when I'm done telling the story so I noticed that it's going to this person's house and I'm sitting there thinking I'm like wait a minute this car's not clean so like I go back out and I look and the car's dirty like wheels are dirty like they've never been cleaned the interiors like like I I would call it like maybe like a vacuum it's not like a like you're delivering a car, newer used cars, like you would clean it up. Didn't smell good in the car, just had like, like it was someone's car and it had this like musty kind of smell in it. And I was like, well, this is gonna be interesting. So I get to the guy's house and I uh, back it out of the trailer because I've had it in the enclosed. And he doesn't say anything about it being dirty, but there's no charger cord for it. And I go back on the dispatch and I'm like making sure there wasn't something that I missed and there's no charger cord for it. And he's not very happy, which makes it awkward for me. And I'm just a transporter. And I kind of said, like, you're just going to have to call Vroom. Like, I never dealt with Vroom themselves. I dealt with the transport company they hire, which was Montway. And then I'm just the guy that was here to deliver. So it's kind of awkward. I never liked those. But the good thing about those is he's not, the customer wasn't paying me directly. So I can just say, hey, man, like, you have to call them. Let me get your signature so I can get on my way. So that's what happened. But it was uh, definitely makes for an awkward situation. Anyways, this is that truck I was talking about. VAS Express out of Cleveland. It's a, like a extended cab with a sleeper. Just kind of neat. And it's pulling a, what's he got? Six car? Six, seven? Six? One, two, three. Six car Sun Country? I like that. There is a pile of good looking trucks here. Can't say I'm really a Kenworth fan. Unless just about like that I'll take it now well, doing a quick load check straps are good winch is still hooked up which I want to talk about 
See, she's a wide on. Front's still good. I'm gonna go back and check the back straps, but she looks good in here. All right. So the reason the winch is hooked up there is the car is a. Oop. My door flew open because I didn't put the stand in. Come on. Come on. All right. Anyways, the reason I winched it in is if you see guys like um, Reliable, they have like in-town deliveries or like they call final mile deliveries. They bring their big, you know, six, eight car enclosed in and they'll deliver them one by one to a house or wherever they're going. And what they use is a rollback with a roll tight or a Conestoga cover on them. All those guys, especially manual cars, will just winch them up on there. It's a lot easier. This being a manual car, I can't get my butt out of the seat pushing the clutch to look out the window. Sitting so down, low down on these, it's impossible to see out of. So that's why I just hooked the winch to it. Stand right here in the front and I can watch side to side. Now I left the car run because I still had power steering then. All I needed to do is just reach in and have a penny, a penny, a pinky on the wheel and I could turn the wheel. And if the car was off and I couldn't get enough leverage to turn the wheel, uh, so just let it run. Got a soft um, axle strap around the lower control arm and then I hooked the winch to it and I just pulled it up in slowly, got it up in, uh, shut it down, uh, pulled the e-rake and um, here we are. And the reason I'm gonna leave it hooked up is when I, when I unload it, I can just give it a little, a little, you know, love tap, a little push, and let the winch out slowly. Watching side to side, I can see, you know, make sure it's coming out of the trailer straight because of how wide this thing is. And uh, once it gets down, you know, halfway down the gate or so, and you can open the door outside, which is why I have the cord off on the one side, like the ramp assist. I took it off on the one side so you could open the door on the ramp somebody can hop in it and then we can you know back it the rest of the way off but I figured i'd show you guys that because some of these wide cars or um like that tesla model s is actually wider than this only in the rear though this car is 76 inches all the way down the side um i got 82 inches in between the wheel wells on this trailer so you just got to be careful especially with like the size of this front splitter hanging off, I was able to watch it come up the ramp and make sure it wasn't dragging the front bumper as well. So that's why I winched it into the trailer. I figured I'd share that with you guys. <clears throat> Sometimes you get lucky and you drop one off and you have to pick one up at the same place you dropped it off at it once before. You guys remember this Escalade? And this thing had a uh, bumper was popped out. It had that dent, had that dent. Other than that, it was a not a bad car. Well, must have found something wrong with it. So it goes back to the auction. Hold on. It must have this thing called Deal Shield, where. You get refunded or something if you pay extra just for the protection so back to the auction this goes well if it's gonna start raining i'm gonna throw on some new wipers i use the bosch icons pretty good success with them last a couple months clear the windshield well Oh no, I hope I don't park in someone's spot today. That would be really, really bad. All right, this is for proof. All right, no car here. No cars here. No cars behind me. Is this okay if I park here? 
Someone call the parking police. You know, sometimes you just gotta do what you just gotta do. Man, what do we have here? 6 trailer tires. Are the trucks getting the fronts done? Oh. That's it for today. Say goodbye to her. Got to get one tire swapped over for the new owner and the OG trailer that started it all is gone. A little bittersweet, but it is what it is. So, moving on to other things.